Hello, this is Dr. Tom with a presentation on NCES problem number 53. Uh, this particular problem is on beam, so uh, let's get started. Well, the NCS solution is fine. Uh, however, uh, in this particular problem, you have a cantilever beam with a uh, distributed constant distributed load over the uh, uh, ha uh, it's 24 inches uh, long, and uh, the last 12 inches has uh, a, a constant distributed load. And so they draw the entire shear force diagram, and uh, they're asking for the uh, shear force uh, six inches from the end. So they they use similar triangles uh, to uh, to come up with the uh, the value there. Uh, well, that's <laughs> similar triangles is always uh, confusing here. Uh, so uh, uh, that's just, uh, we, we can do better than that. And um, there's also a typo. They haven't done an errata yet. There's a typo on the left side of the shear force diagram that they draw. Uh, in that solution, they show 120 inches, uh, where, of course, it should be 120 pounds. That's kind of sort of obvious, but that is a, a typo that could, could uh, raise some questions. Why is that inches since you've got everything else? So, um, uh, what, what should we do here? Well, uh, in, since they're asking for uh, the shear at a particular point uh, on the beam, uh, it's eight, they say 18 inches from the left on the uh, support. Well, that means it's six inches from the right of the beam. And so you could just uh, make a cut there at uh, six inches and uh, look at just the right piece. Uh, it's uh, the distributed load is 10 pounds per inch times six inches. So that gives you a 60 pound uh, load there in the middle. And uh, on the left, you have the standard uh, sign convention for shear force up on a left face and the uh, bending moment making a smiley face, although we're not looking for bending moment. But this would work for that. If they were asking for the, uh, the bending moment, this would, uh, would uh, be the same sort of approach that you would do. So you just apply equilibrium. Uh, the shear force V is up, 60 is down. So solve for V is 60 pounds and you're done. <laughs> no similar triangles, okay? Uh, that is always a, a problem, problematic uh, solution technique. Sometimes you have to do that, but uh, here it was not necessary at all. So I hope, uh, I hope this um, gives you a little bit more confidence uh, in uh, solving these kinds of uh, problems as we kind of went over this in, in the lessons and stuff and uh, here is an app a very uh, application that uh, that fits it perfectly okay well that uh, concludes the presentation uh, again thank you for allowing us to help you prepare for this exam